in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a selection of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. It is Saturday, the 21st of September, 2024, the Feast of St. Matthew Evangelist. He was born in Capernaum and was working as a tax collector when Jesus called him. He is thought by some scholars to have written an early version of his gospel in Aramaic, a precursor to the Greek version we now have. He is also said to have preached in the East, participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following Daily Bread members. Eustace Wobo, who celebrated his birthday yesterday from Lusaka, Zambia, takes for us the first reading. Miriam and Margaret Mure in Monrovia, Liberia, take for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Eric Owo, a Salesian of Don Bosco, celebrating his birthday today, working in Masabit Diocese in Kenya. Let us pray. O oh God, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle St. Matthew, the tax collector, Grant that sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. His gifts were that some should be apostles, some evangelists. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 to 7 and 11 to 13. Brethren, I, a prisoner for the Lord, beg you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you've been called, with all lowliness and meekness, with patience, forbearing one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your core. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, who is above all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And these gifts were that some should be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, for the equipment of the saints, for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The sponsorial psalm. Yes, Ponsorial Psalm is taken from Psalm chapter 19, verses 2 to 3, 4 to 5. And the response is taken from Psalm chapter 19, verse 5a. And the response is, their sound goes forth through all the earth. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims the work of his hands. Day unto day conveys the message, and night unto night imparts the knowledge. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. No speech, no word, whose voice goes unheeded. Their sound goes forth through all the earth, their message to the utmost bounds of the world. Their sound goes forth through all the earth. 
the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. The glorious band of apostles sings your praise, O Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew chapter 9, verse 9 to 13. At that time, as Jesus passed on, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax office. And he said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. And as he sat at table in the house, Behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with Jesus and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard it, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Feast of the Call of St. Matthew. The Call of St. Matthew teaches me one very important lesson. God never calls those who are idle. No, he calls those who are busy. He wants to work with people who are already busy doing something. So do not think that becoming a priest is for those who have nothing to do. No, sorry. It is for people who are talented, who were found already planning to do something, and they were called from there. St. Matthew was busy at the tax office when the Lord came to him. St. Peter and St. Andrew were busy fishing when the Lord called them. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were fishing when the Lord called them. The Lord calls people at their work. He doesn't want those who are lazy. So understand this. God will not collaborate with you if you are not ready to collaborate with him. And you can only collaborate with God when you join him in working. Because God is ever at work. You want to know where I'm getting that from? I am getting this from John chapter 5 verse 17. My father is always working and so am I. Hey, you see. If you want to collaborate with God, be at work. Don't be a lazy somebody because God is only going to use you if you are doing something. There are people who are just sitting there waiting for something to happen. There are people who are just sitting there waiting for somebody even to marry them. They are not doing anything. They are not even lifting their legs to go out there. They are sitting inside their house saying, No, my husband will come. Somebody will marry me here. That somebody will not come to your room. That somebody wants to see you in an office. That somebody wants to see you selling something at the market. That somebody wants to see you marketing something. Because that somebody functions also like God. Jesus met Matthew at the tax office. And where is he going to meet you to say, follow me? Aren't you ashamed that you are just sitting there at your edge, still being fed by your parents? You are over 20, you are over 30, and you are still in the house of your parents, being taken care of by your parents, and you're not doing anything to assist them. How do you expect Christ to call you to marriage? How do you expect Christ to call you to a higher life? Do something! Let him find you doing something! That's the only way things are going to work well in your life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit!
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Saturday to you and happy Feast of St. Matthew. Thanks be to God.